Hey guys! Um, so it is Monday, the Monday after Easter, and I had a good spring break. Didn't really do anything exciting, which is why there's no video from that. But um, it was nice, it was relaxing, exactly what I needed, um, and I didn't get any homework done. So that's probably not great, but I have today and tomorrow, so I will be working full steam to get that done. So Easter was great. Um, we had a visiting minister and he talked about the seven times that Jesus bled for us and it was very symbolic and very, um, he's a good storyteller. He, he told the entire story of Jesus' crucifixion and the glorious, you know, resurrection and um, I've heard the story a million times but he just, he told it so well that I was like, I was totally captivated by what he was saying and um it's always good to be reminded of what of what Jesus went through for us um just so that we could have life just so that we could it just so that we could approach him just so that we could basically get what we need you know healing and deliverance and joy and things and i mean just for us to have that he went through so much so it's always good to be reminded um, came home, had a really nice Easter brunch with the, the family, Egyptian princess, and her mom came over, and, um, we had good times, it was fun. Um, we peep jousted, <laughs> which, it's, it's hard to explain, but, um, but it was fun, there's video of that, I think, um, search, happy Easter, I guess, <laughs> um, the video's there. Just, just look for it. It's fun. It's just a few minutes, but um, it's fun. My hair looks a little different it's because it is. I did get a haircut, and let me tell you, guy hairdressers, the best. I mean, I sat down, and I was like, yeah, I think I want this, whatever, and he was like, no, I think this will look better. <laughs> so then I was like, okay, fine, do whatever you want. So he did this. Don't you like it? I love it. I, I love it. I got up, and I was like, what's your name? And he's like, Luke. And I was like, oh, that's a good name. I'll be back, Luke. Quick side note, um, I got the second book to that Mark of the Lion series that I was raving about um, a few vlogs ago. And it's so good. It's so good. Um, I'm almost done. I'm like three quarters of the way done. But the story, I mean, the story continues from the first one. But it's so good. I'm telling you, Mark of the Lion series by Francine Rivers. Check it out. So it is day one of my um, Daniel fast. I was going to do it for 40 days, but then um, I looked it up and you're only supposed to do it for like 21 days. So that's, I guess I'll just do it for 21 days. So today I have had a banana, um, a salad with some garbanzo beans, an avocado, um, and a very light vinaigrette and strictly water. If you're not really clear on what a Daniel fast is, basically um, what it is is no meat, no sugar, no um, bread. You can have whole grain like pasta and whole grain, um, like whole grain stuff. But you can't have yeast, you can't have um, meat, I think I said that already. Um, you can have nuts, you can have fruits and vegetables, and strictly water. Like, you can't even have herbal tea, which I thought was a little weird. I was like, what? No herbal tea? But yeah, you can't have herbal tea. Um, it's just water and fruit and vegetables and nuts and beans. So, it's going to be tough for 21 days. Um, I haven't had any cravings or anything yet, which is pretty good. Um, but the, the outcome is going to be... It's going to be better than, than what I'm going through to get to the outcome. So, and I think that's something that, I think it applies to anything in life. It's, it's, it's basically just like a life lesson thing. It's like, no matter what you're going through, you know, think about the outcome. If it's an outcome that you really want, um, then you're just going to have to endure it. You're just going to have to do it and just think about the outcome. And it, it goes for eating, you know, eating right. It goes for working out. It goes for your spiritual life. It goes for your family life. It goes for um, just whatever it is that you're doing. School. It's like you go through all these things, but just think about the outcome. Think of what you're getting out of everything that you're doing, things that you're giving up. Um, 
and it makes it worth it, you know? It makes it easy. It, not that it makes it easier. Sometimes it makes it easier, <laughs> but um, it makes it worth it, I think. So this Daniel Fest, if you want to join me, it's not too late. It's only been my first day. I'm doing it for 21 days. If you want to join me, um, send me a text or a message on Facebook or leave a comment. Um, whatever it is. And we can do it together. We'll do it together. We'll support one another. And um, it should be really good. Of course, it is a fast. So in addition to um, the changing eating habits. Um, prayer is very important. Uh, meditation, reading the word. Um, and actually the whole reason that I decided to go on this Daniel fast was because I really want to um, deepen my relationship with Christ. I mean, it's not that I'm like falling away or something like, you know, but I mean, I, I don't, I think a Christian is always supposed to be yearning and thirsting and, you know, hungering for more. And and I feel that way. You know, I feel like I've experienced things. I've been through things. I've seen prayers been answered. I've seen, you know, different things in my life. And, and I don't doubt that there is a God. I'm very sure there is. And and I believe in his will and in his purpose. But um, I feel like there's just more. There's more that I can have, and I want that. You know, I, if there's more to have of God, then I want that. And um, I've been trying to figure out, and you know, for like a few a few months, I've been trying to figure out what is it that I can do to you know to get closer to God. And it, it and I didn't want it to just be prayer. I didn't want it to just be worship. I wanted to feel like I was making a sacrifice to get what I was getting. And um, then I thought about the Daniel fast, and so that's why I'm doing this. I'm doing it to strengthen my relationship with Christ, to get some clarity on some things, to to bring me closer to Him. And um, I know it's it's going to happen. I know He said, if you seek, you will find. He said, if you ask, it will be given. Um, if you knock, and then it will be opened. So I know it's going to happen. I'm excited about it. And if you want to join me, either in prayer or if it's just for the diet's sake or whatever it is, um, let me know and we can do it together. Other than that, it is a gorgeous day. It's like 76 degrees or something today. It's beautiful out. Um, my mom's in the garden, just, you know, planting some flowers and things like that. Um, I'm about to get started on my homework finally. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for me for now. Until next time!